usually when it's really cold, he'll put his little nose inside your jacket to keep his nose warm. Um, and he goes in for like right behind the ear little kisses. Those are sort of his favorite spots. From out of nowhere, uh, a goat and a sheep wandered up our driveway, stopped right in front of the house. Having considered having goats one day in our life when the goat wanders up your driveway, I kind of took it as a sign that the universe was saying, this is your goat. Marvin here is the reason that we started that seven years ago and we've been growing slowly ever since. <laughs> and so we really built everything for them. Um, all of the fencing went in, all of the structures went in, we self-learned, we got our vet situated um, and haven't looked back. I really think that he just loves connection and he loves attention very likable goat. He has a lot of fans when we have people come and visit, that's for sure. And you can see why, because this, uh, this is him. And although I don't preach a vegan lifestyle, I do like to show people that there is something behind the eyes and the brains of these animals and give them a different perspective. And most people leave saying, I cannot believe how how lovely they are and how inquisitive and that their personalities are, are all so different. And, uh, and that's a gift that I'm, I'm able to share them in that way with people.